All right, YouTubers, got a uh, another unboxing video. This is uh, <clears throat> another thing from Yard Commander. 125 pound tow behind spreader. And uh, we actually, if you saw on the channel, we did the Agrifab one. Uh, turned out seriously not happy with that piece of crap. Uh, so we got another one. Uh, the main reason is the directions were horrible on that one and uh, there wasn't any instruction on how to um, connect or assemble I should say the uh, the lever that uh, adjusts how open your uh, spreader is um, basically you know the number uh, that you're going to use to uh, spread and in this case uh, this one looks a lot more heavy duty um, and obviously larger so uh, while I sent the other one back to Amazon and gave it a horrible review. Uh, this one, I'm hoping for better things. So we previously bought the Yard Commander uh, 500 pound tow behind cart. And uh, you know, I had some comments about that, uh, some issues with manufacturing quality here and there. But I'll tell you what, I friggin' love the cart. Um, yeah, it could have been made better, you know, but for the price, it, uh, it's serving its purpose. I've been able to tow around all kind of wood with it. And so we give Yard Commander another chance here uh, on this device. So uh, this cost um, somewhere in the $125 range, I think. And uh, I had paid for it out of pocket. Um, not everything that we do on this channel do I pay for it just so you know, but uh, most of the stuff I do pay for, or a good percentage of it, we should say. Um, and if you're out there and you'd like me to either do an unboxing video for you or uh, to do a, a review of your product, please contact me on the About page. All right, so first thing I like to do on these kind of unboxings is find the instruction manual so we can actually see which parts we are uh, taking out of the box. But in this case, it looks like it's on the bottom. So I'm going to move this over. And here we go. There's the instructions. So before we get going, um, here's your hardware you're going to use for this build. And you got a mixture of flat washers, big flat washers. <laughs> That's funny, big flat washer and flat washer. The big flat washer is uh, smaller than the, the flat washer. Go figure that one out. Um, axle bushings, a uh, cotter pin, um, and the other kind of retaining pin. We've got some uh, nylon lock nuts, an Allen wrench, uh, inner hex bolts, um, so different types of uh, hex bolts in here. So we'll be using that. And just so you can see it, sometimes I take photos of these, but here is your instruction manual. And we're filming in 4K, so if you watch this on a 60, 70 inch TV, you should be able to follow along quite well. And actually read all of this stuff. Um, you have to pause though, because we don't have all kinds of recording time, so there's your uh, there's all your parts, right? So that's what I'm going to call out here as I pull it out of the box, just so you can see it. The assembly directions. They uh, this is what I'm talking about, people. If if you see me bitching about your product um, and why your assembly instructions suck, look at this nice detailed close-up view. Okay, I used to do a lot of computer-aided design back in the day. I've moved on to better things, but um, this is what you want, okay? So you can actually see what in hell's being lined up. Um, in case Agrifab, you're out there. And uh, so look, they actually flip the item over. You can see how it's going in. Don't just assemble, show everything in one assembly view. When stuff is, you know, uh, important to be shown from the bottom side, change the view up, all right? So, Unfortunately, not everybody does that. There's a nice parts drawing of this and all your parts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. 
so we've already gone through quite a bit of the hardware. Now, um, let's throw some stuff back in the box until we get to it. Alright, so here's your harp hopper. And uh, I gotta make sure that you guys can see this, so only negative about this. Yard Commander, 125 pounds. So um, let me give you my overall opinion of this. Definitely better than the AgriFab one. Much better built. Um, it's got uh, some additional features in it to add to the structural rigidity of it. And I think I'm gonna like this one a lot better. Um, this is very similar to the other one in some aspects, yet uh, a lot better because of this mechanism. So if you can see that, the cheap $80, or excuse me, yeah, I think it was about $80. The cheap 85 pound AgriFab one will not have a nice assembly like that to open your, uh, your door. All right, so that's your hopper. And let's see here, look at this. This is already pre-assembled. Now this is kind of, uh, you know, I might have to take this outside because uh, it's got grease all over it. We're doing it on a tile with some cardboard, but uh, there is your frame tube assembly. So I'm going to go put this down somewhere where it's not going to get all over the place. Um, but uh, a lot of these things, they are sticking, um, you know, obviously you've got to be greased up, but they're not doing the best job of protecting them. Here's your tires, and just so you can see it, um, let's see if I can tell you what size the tire is. Doesn't look like a can. There we go, 4.10, 3.50-6. Uh, so if you look that up, you'll be able to get that, uh, that as a replacement tire if you needed it. It's kind of like a golf cart tire or something else. Um, and not fully blown up because I can squeeze it a little bit. But two of those tires, they look like good quality tires, folks. I will not complain about that. Now, got a bunch of stuff in here, it looks like, if you can see this. It looks like some frame components. Or a... All right, so this, this company is killing AgriFab in every every uh, segment of your imagination or whatever verbiage I want to use there but uh, yeah, obviously when you look in the box um, they just kind of throw stuff in there just like uh, AgriFab did but these guys actually um, pre-assembled some things which is nice so this component here this is obviously some kind of lever, uh, hitch tube. So AgriFab, you had to assemble this yourself, not a big deal, but this is already coming in. This is gonna save me a bunch of time because this is already pre-assembled. So thank you, Yard Commander. Now I'm not sure we've got a uh, some kind of cover here. Oh, this is freaking nice, folks, rain cover. So if you leave all your crap in the spreader, you got this rain cover. I don't know how good a job it's going to do because um, it doesn't zip on or, or button on. It doesn't look like. Yeah, it just kind of goes on top of it. It's not. This isn't going to be the best thing in the world, but uh, hell, something's better than nothing. Uh, you know, I could be making a bad assumption here, but um, somehow this is going to attach on here so it stays on. Looks like it slips in or something. Um, so maybe there'll be some crossbars or something that it will slip into. And then, what else do we got? Uh, we got this thing here, some kind of grating. It's called a hopper screen, so that must sit on the bottom of the hopper. Put that over there. And then the final piece, which kind of scares me that this is really all there is to this thing, folks is some kind of cross member, structural strength member probably. Looks like there's two of these. This is the, these are the brace hitch. Two brace hitches. So 
I gotta say overall, um, I haven't put this together, haven't operated it, but I think it's gonna be light years ahead of the shitty uh, Agrifab one that I bought. So hopefully you can see that. There's two of those. Lay on the floor, clean this mess up. Maybe I can get my son to clean this mess up, but thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.